back on Ice Time TV, and I'm joined by Devils head coach Andrew Lord. And Andrew, you talked in the week about uh, this being more of a puck possession game. How happy we are you with how it ended up tonight? Uh, probably a little bit of a tale of two tapes, really. I thought the first and a lot of the second were great. I wasn't overly happy with our third. I thought we took our foot off the gas a bit. They started, uh, like you said, started to possess the puck a little bit more. They figured out our system slightly, started to play a little bit more of a give and go uh, a game there. And uh, they started to come in a bit, some waves and, you know, Bouncy bailed us out like he always does. And um, overall, great to get the first win and a kind of a theatrical end there, which I think <laughs> is a good good sign for things to come this season. I think there'll be a lot of that. Um, yeah, it was definitely a step in the right direction. I think there were some positives from the special teams as well. And uh, good to see, uh, you know, a guy like Lane there get on the board and, and also, uh, you know, Scott Hotham with getting the puck to the net a couple times. That was also good to see. We are referencing commentary uh, a lot tonight that there seems to be uh, already some chemistry developing on, on all four mm. lines. Uh, is that something you felt tonight? It, we, it was definitely a lot better than last weekend, for sure. You could tell the guys are starting to gel, starting to know where each other are, and it, it just it just takes time. You know, it, uh, The game's so fast, you almost need to be a step ahead. You need to be reading off your teammates. And, you know, we have, I th feel like we have um, a couple lines that play a little bit different styles, which I also like. You know, there's... Uh, is a, you know, you're going to get that skill, real skill puck possession out of Benty's line, probably the same with Marty's line. And then, you know, I feel like we have some couple good bang and crash lines there. And um, it's a good, healthy mix. Um, overall, it was, a, it was a good step. And I'd, I'd like to see us play with a little bit more jam, a little bit, you know, 12, 12 forwards makes a big difference. It's, it's a lot less ice time. You have a lot more energy when you're on the ice. And we just, I, I just kept preaching that. And the third there, I felt like we need to, we need to close space quickly when we're when they're on the defensive side and when we have uh, when we're going offensive we need to go uh, north quickly and, and chase pucks and hunt pucks uh, you know relentlessly you talked about uh, the depth and the crash and bang lines there was yourself uh, Matthew Myers and Joey your dad but we also saw uh, Chris Jones line up with uh, David Bryan and Chris Culligan just how important are those two lines going forward as far as the overall picture I seen that uh, Chris Culligan and uh, Brian and Jones sort of earned their minutes tonight and they seem to be rewarded yeah, further absolutely. on. Absolutely. It's huge. It's huge in four-line hockey. You need those those depth guys. You need those role guys that are going to create energy, uh, you know, play hard minutes, make it miserable on the opposition, play below the tops of the other team's circles. And we've been preaching that a lot. And I think the six of us, for the most part, so far have got in the four check. We understand our role. Again, it'll take time. Um, <clears throat> but th there's there are good signs, that, like you said. You had a bit more time on the power play this evening mm. than we did last week. Uh, were you happy with how that ended up? Definitely a lot better than last weekend, for sure. I thought last weekend, uh, you know, I thought Zagreb really, they, they played at such a high pace. They play a play an up-tempo style on the kill there, and we just weren't very sharp after four days. We only had one day of practice on the power play. This week we really worked on it. We preached a few different things, and it was, it was good to see the guys uh, take that on board, um, and they executed, and, and you know it, it, it paid off there for with some uh, with some quality power plays for sure. Tomorrow then, mm. is it more of the same tonight, or are you just looking for that improvement again? Yeah, I'm I'm definitely looking for a, a 60 minute performance. I thought tonight was more of like a 45, and you know it's it's very early. No need to hit the panic button. I thought there was again a lot of good signs, but we do need to get in that mindset of being relentless and hunting pucks and closing space and and going north quickly and playing at a, at a very fast tempo and. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll come back, and uh, I'm just excited to get a, a win in that in that fashion. I thought that was pretty cool with a couple <laughs> seconds left. I know it's preseason, but that was fun. The boys are pumped, and we'll, we'll use that uh, momentum tomorrow night. I look forward to it, and um, we'll be back tomorrow to speak to Andrew Lord to see uh, how uh, Sunday night results go here on Ice Time TV. Thanks.